welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the brand new Christmas Paper Lovers book. I usually don't get into Christmas things this early in the year. I mean, it's only September. Um, but I saw this online on the coming soons and I just knew I had to have it and I couldn't wait. So I walked into my local Kiki K on Friday morning and said hi um, you know how you get a delivery on Friday is the new Christmas papers lovers book there yes it is oh good I'll be there in an hour so it was it was a, I had to have it kind of thing I love Christmas anyway I think Christmas is the best time of the year um, so to get into the spirit a little bit early this year probably not a bad thing so we're just gonna do a walkthrough of this one today I'm just gonna go through and show you what's in it um, and to show you tell you what I think about it as we go so let's get started so just your opening page as per normal. So you've got, I love this. I don't know why I love that so much. I just think it looks gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. You've got some note paper there. I just think these little elves that they've got, they've, it's all through the book, these little elves. They're just gorgeous. I've said it before, I'd love to know who does the illustrations for Kiki K because I'd love to hire them to do things for me because I just think they're gorgeous. They've got an envelope here. Those spots are adorable couple of envelopes, some pattern paper, and there's some elves hiding behind some trees, some beautiful stocking. Now this is the first time I've ever seen this and the first time I opened this I actually thought they'd skipped a page. So what they've got here is they've got snowflakes and you, you can't see them very well and I don't want to pull them out yet but I will make something with the snowflakes a bit later and I'll um, put that up so if you are interested in that please subscribe because you'll get that video coming up pretty soon. So we've got a rosette here. Um, I have done a video also on a rosette that came out of the Paper Lovers book, the Cute Edition. So if that's something you're interested in, um, just I'll put a link to it below and you guys can have a look. They do look really cool. So this is something new. This is a DIY paper bow. I'm not quite sure how it works yet. I can't really get an idea of it. So I will pull this out um, and make it for you guys on camera and I will put that up soon. So you've got two of those. You've got the red one, um, the red and white spotted kind of one. And then you've got just this um, colored spot kind of one. <clears throat> then you've got a DIY Swedish paper heart. So they show you how it makes it and it kind of ends up looking um, like this. This will be another one I'll make for you guys a little bit later on. So this is a box base so you get to make a box the base and the lid so I think this is rather than the little treat boxes they put this in instead. Um, so it's just a, a little gift box that you could put something small in like some jewellery or something to then put it underneath the tree. So this is um, a, a slightly bigger project. It's actually a three page project. I've never had one of these in a paper lovers book from what I'm aware of. So it's for a wreath. Um, if you've ever been to, into Kiki K at Christmas time, I'll just flip through the pages. So these are the leaves, one of the pages of the leaves, two of the pages of the leaves and the actual base. If you've ever gone into Kiki K before at Christmas time, they do often have a wreath package that you can make. It's usually about, uh, I don't want to say it's like about 10 bucks. Um, this is, I think, just a smaller version that they just put in here, and I think it's a great idea because I'd never buy the wreath on its own, but when it comes in here, I'll definitely make it. So you've got some cards there that'll come in really handy. Then you move into this other kind of, the, the next kind of pattern set in it. So this is a very gold, gold, green and red, and it's got this beautiful guild all through it. I adore this. This card is amazing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it or who's going to be the lucky person that gets it, but it's just got the, all the rain ranges names on it and I just think it's so cute. So you've got some gift tags here. I'll definitely be using those on all my presents. You've got this beautiful gold one. I just adore this gold. It's really, really pretty. So you've got some bunting here that'll definitely be getting used in my house. Um, some little card cutouts in that um, really cute illustrated kind from before. You've got a star decoration so you can hang these on your tree so many stickers and they've all not all but most of them have got this gilded gold kind of stick I'm just trying to sort of spin that so you guys can see how it sort of glimmers and then the alphabet stickers come in the gold too and I cannot wait to use them they're so pretty so labels then you move into some more note paper 
got black. This one's so pretty. It's not um, gilded gold like the others, but it's just adorable. So got an envelope there. So this is moving into kind of like a black and gold thing. Beautiful stripes. Some more pattern paper. That's really cool too. So you got um, another gift box here. So you got your gift box base and your gift box lid. And you got another one too with the stripes. And you got another rosette. And some more stickers back with that gold. That is the most adorable sticker ever. Oh, I can't wait to use that. We've got some more labels here. So these are advent calendar stickers. So if you were going to make an advent calendar, I know Kiki K do have one this year. I don't know if that's something I'm going to do. Um, but that's, you could make your own advent calendar really easily with these. You could copy, this is something you could do. Um, you could copy the, the gift boxes and put them onto the pattern paper or even just out of other paper. And you could actually make your own advent calendar just out of these little boxes. Just put yourself a little treat in there and just open one every week. Every day, sorry. It's so got some more greeting cards here. This one's really cool, the Parumpa Pum Pum. Some more greeting cards. A bit more gift tags. Another kind of bunting. Merry everything. Sorry, I was just reading that and I kind of went, what does that say? And I've just went, yeah, it says Merry everything. That's gorgeous. Some more cutouts. It's a shame Christmas really only goes for a day. I'd love to be able to do like a whole, I might have to do the whole of December in Christmas theme because it's just so cool. It's got some mini DIY trees here. You can put these up sort of around your house. Got a bonbon gift box. So again, that's something that's new. We haven't seen that before and there's two of those. And then you just back to, oh no, this is some big wrapping paper. So you've got the first one here with those really beautiful stockings and the spots and the other one you've got the black and white Christmas trees and the stripes. So there's a lot of stuff in there that even though it is Christmas themed you could use it at any time of the year. Um, it just depends on how you want to sort of spin it to make it work. Like for example, like the Christmas trees maybe not but like any kind of these stickers like these black and ones, the maybe not the candy cane but those stripes and spots you could definitely use them any time of the year so it is just a beautiful book I'm really impressed with it actually um, it's no thinner or thicker than the normal paper lovers book I do though to a certain extent I think they've kind of brought out too many paper lovers books this year they did bring out um, just the one which I never got my hands on the the original cute one and this year so far they brought out four and I, I don't think you can ever have too many of them but they're kind of making it less special they 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 probably shouldn't bring out quite so many. I understand the Christmas one and I think that's a great idea, but maybe the food one, um, which I've also done a flick through, I'll put that link below. Might have been the one that they could have done without. Um, but if, if, if you guys have thoughts on that, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you what you think about the Kiki K Paper Lovers books, which ones you like, which ones you don't like. Um, I've done walkthroughs of all the ones that have come out this year, so I'll put links to them below as well. Um, if you want to see me make any of the crafts out of here, I have said along the way that I will do a couple. So if there's any that I haven't said that I'm going to do that you'd like me to do, let me know and I will happily do them for you. They'll all get done eventually anyway, so I might as well do them while when people ask for them. Um, so let me know in the comments below and I'll happily do those for you. Uh, but keep an eye on my channel because I will do a couple of the crafts out of this one um, in the next couple of weeks, in or next couple of months. Seems like a long way away um, in the lead up to Christmas. So you yeah, keep an eye on my channel um, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Thanks, bye. Hi guys, I'm just back again. Sorry, I've just remembered something. Um, when I was in the Kiki K store picking up the Paper Lovers book, they told me that they're doing Christmas workshops and personal or Christmas workshops this year um, in Kiki K. I don't know how many of you guys have done a workshop from Kiki K before, but I've done, I think three. And I think they are fantastic. I'm really looking forward to this one. So I'm absolutely going to do it. Even though people around me may think I shouldn't. Um, so I'm going to do it. I will do a review on it when I've done them. And I'll let you know. Um, I might be able to put dates and stuff for different ones around the country. So you guys can have a look. But um, yeah, so keep an eye out in your local store for advertising of this Christmas workshop. I think it'll be awesome. 
So yeah, now I'm really going. Thanks, bye.